so hello everyone it's your girl jail beauty 87 here aka grace and today we're gonna get into some things i don't want to see more things like this so if y'all remember i've done a couple of videos where i want to see more things like this when i talk about products that i want to see more of in the makeup um world as far as from brands so today we're gonna talk about stuff i don't want to see from them because it's like it's cute that i want to see stuff from them and you know i feel like we should get our voices out there and let them know what we want to see since they've taken our money but it's like it's some stuff i don't want to see either and i feel like a lot of people have talked about some of these things and it's like i'm with them like girl yes i don't want to see it either so please keep in mind these are my makeup preferences and these are the things that i like and dislike based upon personal preference so you know how to get in your feelings if i don't want to see press glitters in my palette like just go by the little knob quad and then you can have all the press you want. But I don't want it in my palette. Or if I don't want a bone colored shadow in my palette. It's a useless shade for me and you put it in every single palette. And then force me to pay the price for it. I don't appreciate it so I'm going to talk about it. So this type of stuff we're going to be talking about here. If you ain't into that then bye. But let me go ahead and get started now. So the first thing I'm going to talk about of course is the first thing I just said. That I don't want to see more press glitters. Like who... Whose idea was it to put the press glitters in the palette anyway? Like, no, I don't want to see press glitters. You see, there's two of them right here. I don't want them here. Why are they? Who invited them? I didn't invite. Did you invite them? Because it's all I'm going to have to ask you to leave exit stage left. Like, I, I don't want your press glitters. Please keep them away. So I'm so glad that Odin's, or Odin's eye listened and they did not put any press glitters in the new palette. Because I did order it and I'm excited about that. But all these other brands like Colourpop, we done told you forever we don't want press glitters. And what are people still finding in their palettes? Press glitters. We don't want your press glitters. Stop. Nobody wants your press glitters. Take them and do something with them. I don't care what you do with them. Do like Noblin. and put them in a little light palette. Or just keep your glitter obsessed things in a little jar and let people buy them that way if that's what they prefer. But stop trying to force me to have your press glitters. I don't want them. I'm trying to stick to this list, but um, there's some other things I don't own on here because there's things I don't like. Um, the next thing I have is sequin shades. This is a sequin shade here. Stop putting sequin shades in all these palettes. Like, y'all was doing match just fine, and then all of a sudden I look up in the sequin shades. Stop making sequin shades. I don't want the glitter reflections in my crease. I hear that makes it easier to blend, and that's cute and all, but it's like I, I don't want it in my palette. So take this. And just, you know, take the glitter out of it. And I noticed that in a lot of brands, like, when I was buying Give Me Glow, like, I noticed every, uh, quite a few mattes in their palettes was having sequin shadow shimmers in it. And I was like, I wasn't feeling like that. I don't want your sequin shadows. Please take them somewhere else. Hell, I don't want your satin shadows either. For example, this, um, iconic palette from Charlotte Tilbury. All these are just about satins. Like, this is a satin. And this is a satin. And I feel like this is a satin like i mean these will blend out at least to a more matte ish type finish but i don't like satin shades like they just annoy me i don't know what it is i'm sorry that's my dryer going off but it's like i just don't like satin shades so this whole palette is just about satin shades and i didn't know that when i bought it i heard people talking about how nice it was and this was actually the first charlotte tilbury palette i bought and i don't like it just because it seems to be nothing but satin shades and we know how i feel about satin shades if you didn't know how my name is grace and i hate satin shades i hate sequin shades and i hate press glitters in my palette it's what you've learned so far but yeah no 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 stop with sad stop with sad stop with the sequin shades and stop with the press glitters i don't want any of it next thing i want you to stop with is all these bone color shadows in every single palette so this is just for certain brands and it's these two brands in particular like naked i'm sorry urban decay Stop putting these bone color shadows in every palette. Every single palette. I swear to you. I, I feel like with every single palette. Except for like the holiday palettes. They always have some bone color shadow. It's like if people are avid buyers with a naked palette. Don't you think they already have this bone color shadow 20 times over? Why do you keep putting it in the palettes? Now Too Faced doesn't do it as much. But they still do it. Because I have this palette here. I know y'all like what are you doing with this palette. Mel talked about how warm, wonderful the formula was. Up to the point that I just had to go grab it. I found it on Poshmark for like 25 bucks. That's the only reason it's in my possession. I wouldn't have paid the full price for it because, you know, it's a nude palette and that's more. But anyway, uh, this shade right here. Like, I'm tired of seeing shades like this in every single palette I buy. Like, I'm hoping that brands will jump on the train that the indie brands are doing now. Which you make one for a lighter skin tone and then you make one for a darker skin tone. Because that would be awesome. I definitely want to see more like that. And if you notice, more majority of my pops are like with eyeshadow palettes. Because I feel like since that's the thing I show most on my channel besides complexion. That that's the thing I should be talking about because I have my preferences when it comes to that. Because I've done so many eyeshadow reviews over the last, I think I'm going on three years on YouTube now. Don't quote me. I think it's three years in May or July, something like that. I'm not a person that's good with anniversary, so I couldn't even tell you, y'all. Don't start me the line. Um, the next thing I have is 
topper shades now this is directed just to huda beauty because i feel like she does this with her palette it's like she won't give you shimmers she'll just give you like a whole bunch of topper shades because i feel like just about every shade in here is a topper shade like this one is a topper shade the one i was excited about and i think this is a topper shade the one i was excited about so the majority of shades i was excited about in this palette are topper shades it's like i don't want these to be toppers i just want them to be shimmers because it's like what am i topping this on top of like this boring white shade or like this these bronzy shades like i don't know what the hell she was thinking with this palette it's like nobody wants topper shades we just want shimmers so just stop with all of the topper shades just make some shimmers like a normal palette so that like i said that's just directly targeted toward huda beauty it, it, it literally it's just, just huda stop just stop you see y'all still rolling okay yeah so the next um Thing that's on my list let me make sure my phone keeps closing because i have it on the low battery mode is neutral and warm tone palette so it's mainly warm tone palettes i don't really care about the neutral palettes because i feel like they don't do as many neutral as they do warm tone but it's like warm tone palettes like this like this is the sunrise palette i bought this because this was the first mini palette she came out with and i wanted to see if this formula was gonna be the same as the big one but you all know i don't go for color stories like this i don't go for warm tone looks i don't care about warm tones we're a cool tone kind of girl over here but yeah i'm tired of everybody coming up with palettes like this i'm like i'm glad they have calmed down quite a bit and they're going some more of the cooler grungy tones like i like but still i feel like i still feel see quite a few warm tone palettes coming out and like they just need to stop somebody tell them oh wait i just did never mind stop with the warm tone and neutral tone palettes just stop i'm not as mad about the neutral tone palettes as i am about the warm tone palettes because i'm like i'm tired of seeing color stories like this just stop just stop everybody has it 40 times over just stop when it was at its peak everybody bought all of them so you just need to calm it down and start on the other trend with the um more edgier cooler color stories like the one that's on my eyes right now we want more of this we, do, we don't want more of that we want, we want more of this next thing i have is lip oils and lip stains now, i don't know what's going on with that i'm not with the lip oils and lip stains i don't have any obviously to show you because that's not something i like with other things it's like i go by a case-by-case -case basis of what i'm gonna get and what i'm not gonna get but a lip oil is, or a lip stain is just something i'm not gonna buy or a lip balm i'll buy a lip balm to wear to work but it's like i'm not gonna buy a colorful lip balm and pay you like 20 bucks for it like no i wish they would just stop with all those like if it's lip balm for me to wear to work then fine like the Laneige little one in the squeezy tube i'll buy that fine whatever and the uh what is it the, um i don't like lip oils though and i don't like um lip stains i so like when ColourPop had those like what is blotted lips or whatever stuff like that i don't like stuff like that i don't know why but that's just something i don't like because i feel like your lip product comes off throughout the day as it is depending on what type of formula it is and then for me to buy one that starts off like that when i can just share out another one to me doesn't make sense so it's like just stop making it people can just share out what they already own and save their money like just stop so the last thing I have to talk about, so now I got two more things. So I have like your skin, but better foundations and like tinted BB creams and moisturizers with like all that type of stuff. I don't want any of that. Sorry, the dryer's going off again because I didn't um, get up and turn it off because I'm trying to film this video. So it's going to do that every few minutes and then like have the little beep, beep, beep behind it to remind you to turn it off. But anyway, this is your skin, but better um, foundation. Um type things right here so this is the closest thing i have to it this is true skin hydrating foundation i'll try to remember to link the video up above where i reviewed this foundation stuff like this now this gives decent coverage this will give you medium coverage and then you can just put on your you know concealer and your setting powders to build it up i'm talking about like the new one um urban decay came out with the hydrate whatever it was or the new l'oreal tinted moisturizer they like stuff like that to me is just not useful but in all fairness again remember this is my video and my preferences and as you can see there's acne peeking through on this side and i have like oily acne prone combination skin so those products just don't work for people like me so that's why i'm personally saying i don't want to see that because it's like i want to see i don't have a problem with stuff like this it's like your skin but better medium coverage type foundations like this and the rare beauty one are fine to me the maybelline hydrating one the l'oreal um infallible one like all those type of foundations are fine it's just more of as long as i can build it up to a medium coverage a high medium coverage i'm fine with it when it's like a bb cream or a tinted moisturizer or a cc cream or something like that i'm not with it i don't want to be bothered the only cc cream i have ever tried is the elf one and i was to give you all a review on it to see if it's going to be ashy like the it cosmetics one because we all know the it cosmetics one is very disrespectful to the african-american community like if you got any type of melanin in you, that foundation is going to clown you disrespectfully and the elf one didn't do that so i was proud of that i'll try to remember like that video up above too but anyway um those are my thoughts and the things that i don't want to see anymore in makeup let me know down below is this stuff on my list that you agree with is you tired of looking at it? you tired of seeing you like girl no mm, wait no i forgot there was one more thing hold on the nars orgasm collection honey we didn't have like 40 orgasms just let it go just let it go 
free yourself from the NARS orgasm collection because they just trying and they trying and trying to stop. Okay, so now I'm done. But <laughs> anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds. Like I said, let me know down below. Is there any stuff on my list that you like right with me? Like, no, nah, sis, we don't want that. Tell them to send it away. Tell them to do something with it. But don't bring it here because that's definitely how I feel about it. I'm like, I just, I, I don't, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see any more of these things. I just don't want to be bothered. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the dimes. I'll catch you guys in the next one.